Where's my oil? There it is. Still never found my little oil in can, folks. It's down there somewhere, I think. <laughs> It'll turn up, I suppose. Anyway, let's get after this. This, as you all know, just get it set up properly. This, as you all know, or those of you that don't know, is a BS is an early BSR monarch so we'll zoom in a bit there we are now we'll zoom out on that camera there we go in case we don't want to come with that camera right This, as you know, is a BSR Monarch. Let's take the cartridge out. Don't want to damage the stylus. It's got a new stylus in it. So, right. I'm going to confess, I was a bit lazy when I did this Monarch. Although I did, show, I did a video and I did show you. Uh, basically, uh, did you hear that little click then? Well, what, what happens is, the arm shouldn't move across like that, uh, shouldn't fly across. What's happened there? Let's take, take the mat off. I'm going to try and do something with the mat. Maybe just trim it down a bit to get rid of the bad spots. But we'll put that on top of there for now. Uh, and it won't get all ruckled up. So what we'll do, we'll take the turntable off. Uh, We'll take the turntable off. Uh, we don't need to worry about too much of this. I mean, it, it all works, it, it plays beautifully, but just that little issue we've got with the arm just flying across. So, we're not going to do anything with the speed, just the mechanism we're interested in. So, what we'll do, the speed all works fine, so we're not taking we're not taking any of that, we're not taking any of this out, this is all staying, well actually we might, yeah we could I suppose, uh, yeah we could, yeah because it's only a matter of just, dis dis just getting, it, getting it from there, we'll see, but what we want to do, we want to see why, we want to look at, When these were new, when I mean these were uh, these were used in quite a few record players back in the day. Uh, Pi used the same one, but branded as a Pi. Uh, BSR basically supplied everybody with it. Basically, anybody they could sell it to. And you can't blame them. I mean, I think the thing to do with that is just. Because you get it, just take them off. There we go. We'll just put them back on again later. Right now the issue we've got to do here in a minute, we've got to take the tone arm off and this is what actually put me off doing this. See the arm flicks right out to there you see it shouldn't do. This is what originally put me off doing this, taking this arm off but I think this is easier there than the later ones. You can even, un look at that, you can undo that. There we go. Watch that spring doesn't fly out, so you just take that off. Watch the spring doesn't fly out. Let's get some on there so we can. Oh, there we go, it's dislodged. Right, the spring on this is easier than the later ones. 
the media a bit more and there we go we'll just pull that out that's the torn arm off make sure we don't lose the spacer or anything else keep an eye on things that come out now what we need to do is I've explained this before that you can use these tools on stuff like this to get things apart take the knobs off there's no real need to take the knobs off so what we want to do is we want to disconnect the knob from the mechanism here by that clip Solder the motor switch, take that off, and away we go. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Good evening to those who have just joined. I can't read who you are now. I know the bottom one's Mike, I can just recognize his thing. But what we'll do next, we'll undo this. There we are. And this is very basically, it's very, very, very basic. I mean, it was all lubricated and everything, don't get me wrong, but we've just got a little issue with it, and I think it's an adjustment. But you've got to strip it to do the adjustment anyway, so in order to there we go but uh, well, what, what, what have we got holding on to there uh, something gripping us oh there it is oh shit don't know where that springs from Oh, it's out of there. That springs out of there. And so it drops on the floor, so I need to check that. And that should disconnect. That has done. There we go. Right, let's move, move the plate, because we don't need that for now. And I think the screw, I think what I dropped was the screw. Yeah, I think what dropped was the screw that goes through there to hold. Yeah, it was. We'll, we'll get this spring out of here. That way we don't lose it. And we'll just have a look down there, see if we see that screw that goes in there. It's down here on the floor. There it is. Ow! I'll just keep the plate. Yep, that's our screw. That was what dropped. Right, now let's see if we can have a look at this closer, I'll turn the soldering iron off, I don't need Good evening Mike, good evening, uh, is it Byron? I think so. Uh, let's go to... Right, well it would help, it would help if we had uh, a camera there wouldn't it? Why have we not got a camera there? Uh, why have we not got a camera? I accidentally unplugged it have I? Oh hang on, yeah I could have done here. 
now it's plugged in. Uh, just give me a minute. Uh, why haven't I got a camera? Let's we'll go to. Right, we've got both cameras, one camera there, no camera there. I hate it when things don't work. Let's go to. It's not there. Why is that camera not working? That's not it. That could be it. Yep. Don't know why that camera decided. Yeah, that's camera one. That's camera two. I don't know why the camera decided to do that. I just decided. Oh, for fuck's sake. Moldy. Hang on. I hope he's not going to marry me about his radio. Graham, hello? Hello. What? What can I do you for? No, these valves you got me, they're not the right ones. What do you mean they're not the right ones? Well, it says ECL82 on the boxes. It doesn't say them on the fucking valves. It doesn't, no, it doesn't say them on the valves, but they are the right ones. It says CV49. Yeah, one. just just chuck them in, they'll work. Are you sure it's not going to fucking blow up? No, they're the equivalents. They're the right ones, Mildred. I know what I'm doing. Right. What a fucking lot of part. That's not an ECC fucking 84. I've got a fucking load of them here. Yeah, well, just, just chuck them in. It'll work. What's this one? Hang on. I haven't got the time, Mildred. I'm doing a video. Right, all right. Right, listen. Just chuck, a, just chuck them in. It'll work. Right, all right. I'll see you in a bit. I'll see you later. Bye. Do you know, folks, I hate it when people know nothing and they don't understand. I told him the valves didn't have the same numbers on when I gave them to him. But they will work. I know what I'm doing, so if I didn't know what I was doing... Right, see if I can get over here a bit. Right, there we are. Right. So what we want to do, what we want to do, in fact, do you know what I'm going to do? Do you know what I'm going to do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do, because I'm fed up of it. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. For some daft reason, you can't just press the button on the side of this phone and turn it off. You have to mess about with shutdown. There we go. Oh, I've gone on cancel. There we go. That's the rest of the world gone. No one can get hold of me now. They want me to have to come and knock on my door. Anyway, what we got here, this is a BSR Monarch. And to be perfectly honest with you, I think it could do with a bit of a clean, couldn't it? I should have just pulled it apart in the first place. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to start by taking the velocity trip arm off, or lever off. 
In fact, what we'll actually do, uh, what we'll do, we'll take these, take this bearing out so we don't lose it. Thrust bearing. We don't want to lose that. I'm going to put it on the top there. And there's another washer there. I couldn't get that off last time, but let's get see if we can get the standing knife up blade under it. There we go. That does come off. There we are. You could try all day getting it off and not get it off, and it would fall off by accident. Right, so. Right, so what we're going to do now. Is take. The velocity lever off and try and keep all the parts that come from relative parts come from relative to the same place in the same place and, and there might be a ball bearing in here as well so some of them there's a ball bearing some of them does not and this comes out should come out there we are that needs a clean doesn't it I might wash all the parts now what we need to do is take the gear off. Keep all the parts relatively next to each other. Oh, look at that big oil slick under there. And I think... It's been a while since I've done one. Don't want to lose anything. Oh yes, we have to take the clip off the bottom there. This is all going to get cleaned. The good thing about it being full of grease, put that on top of there. Then clips are the same size so it doesn't matter. Right. Now this. Are we holding anywhere else? We're holding now. Uh, there's the push pad. Uh, this should lift up and slide off. There we go. Now whether it does is another matter. So we've got we've got another clip. Take these washers off it. Yeah, we have another clip. Put that there. Yeah, we've got another clip there. See, oh, another washer there. See, when you've not done one for a while, you have to refresh your mind. I'll try and keep you in shot. Take that out of there. These washers are all the same, so it doesn't matter. And, they're, and crucially, they're all the same thickness, so it doesn't matter what goes in where. And this is the push pad, or the old-fashioned equivalent to it. And this should just slide out. I say it should. Yeah, the push pad should just slide this push pad should just slide out. I should just be able to hold that there and then pull this towards me. There we go. There we go. There's always one you forget. Uh, there's always one you forget. But we remember them eventually, it comes back to us. See, when you've not done one for ages, now just let that drop down, the clip should drop out, and the washer has. And the nice thing is, BSR made all these clips and washers pretty much the same size. Now the push pad should now lift out. 
I say that. Now what's friggin' holding it? I'm trying to keep you in shot. And get the push pad out. Let's get the little pliers here and one up that spring. There we go. Do 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 do. This clip is a little bit bigger. There we go. And this should just lift out. Right, this should lift out, but this should lift out. It should just jiggle off, but how many times have you right, so if I press that no it needs to come back there we go. That's it comes out of there I bet you lot are already taking bets on whether this thing goes back together aren't you just make sure nothing drops out and now here's your arm mechanism now, what causes your arm to go forward is your push pad. Now, I could take all this off, but there's not really any great need. Uh, whoops. And that, I think, is supposed to go through. There, like so. That's supposed to go through there, I believe. But I've got the manual, so we're all right because I know what I'm doing, so I make sure I've got the manual, you see. Now, now. this is where you slip. Now, take the grub screw all the way out. I think there might be one in the other, might be one somewhere else in there as well. Yeah. Now, the centre spindles on these have an habit of falling to bits. And I do I really want to pull it out. If I remember rightly, I think they fall to bits. And they're a bit of a pain to get back in. But do I want to take that out, pull all that apart? Yeah. Suppose I better show you on there. But they do, they, they come apart these and uh, they've they got like a pin on this one. There you see. Got to be careful, don't lose that. And then. up that spring if it will come off there we go and then <laughs> there we go now these are a pain in the ass to put back together because it has a pin that goes through and that operates your take your record uh, that op operates your record pusher. If I can show you, if 
exactly that. So that operates your record pusher. Right. Now the velocity now the uh, the magi disc selector. Now what we need to do is get this spring out of here. Take that spring off there. And the problem we have is this thing there is what causes your problem. This little pip here, when you move that forward, just slightly, it drops. And see the arm flicks across to the centre. Well, what happens is, usually, this is held by this this is held by is held by this let's go to the other camera let's move the main mechanism a minute let's just right that there that there let's get a screwdriver that part there is held by this and as you as your control arm moves back as you move your control arm back you're slightly pushing this and that's what causes that to fall off uh, and causes your foot causes, causes that to drop and your tone arm flies out into the middle and also uh, if I'm right in thinking it's also held by the push pad at some point as well I'll come and have a look at you all in a minute and see what's happening I just want to get the is that going to fall off there? Are we okay there? We don't want things falling off. No, that ain't going to come off. You couldn't get that off if you wanted to. Uh, all that's no, nothing's going to come off there. It looks like somebody's put Vaseline on this in the past as well. Um, and I'm also getting covered in grease. Now what we want to do, we want to take the, uh, the Magi Disc Selector off. See, and that's how you imagine this selector. See, it all needs a good clean, so it's my own fault for being lazy. And I think once we've got the magic disc selector out of the way, we we'll just undo that there. See, I've got I have got the manual for this, so that if I do get stuck. I can put it back together. And I think this might be is this yeah the screw does come out with it. There we go. We'll do I'll come over and have a look at the chat in a minute folks. Uh, this is out of the dance set I did last week. But I've I've been using it and it has been working okay. I'm just not hundred percent happy with it. And there's the Magi Disc Selector, which I think was BSR's idea. I'm not sure whose idea it really was. There's the screw. Right. Now, all we've got left on now is the arm base. And we don't really need to take that off. Now, this, now I can show you a bit better now. Now, if I go to here, this little pip here is what causes the problems. That is held up like that by the arm and by the control, by the control arm and the tone arm at different points.
But that's about all we need to take off that, folks. We don't need to really take anything else off. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come over and have a look at the chat. And there's some screws there out of a television I scrapped earlier. I got a Samsung television given. I decided to have a go. It had a white screen. But I decided not to spend too much time on it. Because my time is valuable. Hello George. Uh, hello everybody even. Hello Harvey. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Uh, people just saying hello really. Uh, Yes, hello Mike, hello Byron, hello everyone else really. I can do these turntables in my sleep Mike, that's very very true. But, when you've not done one for a while you do need to sort of refresh. And, you know, you can, you can get caught out so you do have to... Uh, you do have to sort of uh, refresh yourself down again. I've not the last one of these I did was for Phil in Shildon when he brought me those when I did it, when I did his dance set senior, which has uh, is it basically the same monarch only a different colour. And hello Simon. I just said hello to George. Carry a carry carry a bag, really? Oh, there we go. Good evening to you, anyway. Yeah, I can do it with my eyes closed, uh, but I do need to be refreshed now and again. When you've not done one for a while, it tends to, you know. You tend to sort of, but yeah, if I get stuck anywhere, I'll bring the manual up and we'll look at the manual. Right, well, all, all I need to do really now is find a piece of monkey owl cloth and really just give it a clean. There's a cloth here, I'll use that. It's a microfiber, I don't like to do that, but that's what washing machines are for. So, let's get, let's get the mechanism clean, I'll just wipe all the grease off, the tall, all the heavy stuff I'll just wipe off and then I'll come back with some IPA, just wipe all the heavy stuff off it first, there we go, let's move that screwdriver. Wipe all the grease and crap. There we go. Now we can get the uh, now we can get the IPA on it and give it a good clean. Oh, I knocked the bloody IPA over the other day. I lost a load of it. Luckily, I caught the bottle before it completely emptied. There, put that there out of the way. There we go. Right. Clean 
clean as clean as it's humanly to get it there see not everything has to come off and not a lot of things don't come off because I really like this thing here doesn't come off because it's riveted on so there's certain things that you can't get off like this here is riveted on you can't get that off but you know certain things I mean it's When this goes back together it will run as smooth as a Swiss watch, like silky smooth when it goes back together. It wasn't that bad to begin with. I mean there's to get it absolutely perfectly squeaky clean it because it never will there's always going to be something that looks like dirt no matter what you do yeah, but, you know you've all seen me do these before but why not another one eh for those that can't be bothered searching through the videos to find it I mean doesn't take long to clean does it that's the plate clear that's the base plate cleaned that's the base of it practically done it's just under there there we go that's that done now let's have a look at the BSR Magidis selector and um, I'll describe this as I, if, if I can in full and basically how that works basically as it knocks down it changes the position at which the arm moves and it's pulled back down so that can release back up it's simple in its operation you've got to be careful you don't snap the lever off the this I mean they're pretty strong but they're brittle as well so I want to be careful and these these were really nice really nice shiny springs when it was put together but now they're a bit tarnished because of years and these you don't oil or grease these you don't oil or grease these these are dry supposed to be dry fit you don't put anything on them because you don't want any stiction and they are let's go back up right there's seven inch I mean you can't see it sorry about that folks let's go to the other camera let's just let's go to the go to the there we are now simple in its operation but effective basically In 45 RPM, a 7 inch mode, nothing hits this. So the arm will go over, this won't move. 10 inch, set the 78, just clacks, or the 10 inch, whatever it is, hits it one notch and moves the arm over. For 2 not for 12 inch, hits it a bit further up there. And this actually, this lever here, if you look, this lever here actually lifts. And then when the, when it's done its job, it pulls back down. So it's simple. It's 7, 12, oh sorry, 10, 12, 12. And there's little steps in there that cause it to lock on. I can show you the little steps are actually the little steps are actually here and when, when that pulls back down it lifts it resets it very very clever very clever so what we'll do we'll clean this 
because this is supposed to be dry and not lubricated. You don't lubricate this, there's no need. It tells you in the manual not to lubricate that as well. So that's clean. Now the push pad. The push pad's really gummy, but it will clean up. And there's also, there's also on the push pad. I think that's a little cam follower, but I'm not 100% sure. And I want to check that. No, I don't think it is. It's just... Uh, no. Because I'm interested. Why? I've got a feeling that's just get a pair of pliers and just give it a little twist. I don't want to, I don't want to twist it so I break it. But famous last words. Just give it a little. Yeah, I can't remember, so I'm... No, that is not supposed to move. But you always have to check, but generally, so you don't snap it. If you snap it, you're, then you're a bit, uh, you're a bit stuffed. Because then you're looking for a part for a turn set for a deck you can't get the parts for. So if you're gonna jiggle anything, make sure you jiggle it in the knowledge that you can not do it without breaking the parts. See this looks pretty disgusting but And that's cleaned up now. Put that there. Whee! And this is the gear. Right, and that is supposed to be that stiff. It's not. We're not going to take this off because, to be honest, there's no need. I'm just cleaning everything. And this is not supposed to be lubricated. Uh, this for this uh, actua actuation port. Let's move that clip. That actuation port is not supposed to be lubricated because you don't. Because if you lubricate them, you suffer from stiction, and it causes the records to stick. And there's no. There we go, and you've got this under here. This actually has a bit of grease on it. Under here, you put a bit of grease, and we're just cleaning off all the old stuff. You can't take this off here. This is not something that removes. It's fitted at the factory and stays there. So we just clean under it. Clean that there. There we go. Now, and that's all nice and clean, ready to go back in. Then we've got the velocity trip lever. This is your velocity trip. This is what comes along here. This hits the record. Uh, sorry, this arrow here, this pointy bit. Uh, hits that bit pushes it out and that's how that works yep. I wish
wish really I had an ultrasonic cleaner. I'd have just thrown this in and uh, set it to gas mark five and walked away. But I don't have the luxury of that, so there we go. Now, this is our bottom bit which connects to our control arm and it is called the control arm I've heard it called a few things alright let's put the IPA back in the bottle put that back there now now you can all watch me Make a muck up. Uh, as I reassemble, or well, attempt to reassemble. Yeah, something goes wrong when you do this, it always does. But. And just pull it out again a minute because I want to just look at something because put that there a minute there's a little nub in there and that fits down there and it fits make sure you get it into the little nubbin I call it the little nubbin make sure you get it into that otherwise the velocity Sorry, the Magidisc selector won't sit straight. And it's... Right, so basically what we need to do is just get this to get it started. And once it's started... Getting you right, you can't get the tool behind there, so you have to use a screwdriver and The only thing I would change about these is that if I was making them today I would use Phillips screws. If I was making them back in the day I would have used Phillips screws because your screwdriver blade slips out of them. Right, so what we'll do now, we'll get that, now we've got that in position, there we go, and that should drop in, there we go, that's it, now I need to hold that like that, it has to go in like that because it has to be straight right, I won't tighten it fully for a minute now if we look at the bottom here this is how this works look uh, Right, that's all the way down and it pulls it back up so basically record drops if it's a 7 inch doesn't change that if it's a 10 inch 
down one, 12 inch, down another, and that, as that goes down, the side here pops up, and then when it's, and this is actually the resetter, this bar here, so you can see it there, comes under, it hooks under that there, and that's the resetter, and when you press that, when the, when the mechanism does that, when this is pulled by, I think it's the push pad, but we'll go more into that, it pops back up, and that's how it works. Now, what we'll do, we won't put any lubricant in just yet, apart from the lubricant needed for the parts that are going in there now. Now, can I put the push pad on first? Do I have the ability to do this? Or am I just chatting shit? Right, so what we need to do, we need to get... So that we don't end up with grease in places where we don't want it. We'll smear it everywhere. You see, you, you can see where the witness marks are. And that's the only places we want to put grease. Where the witness marks are. Not all over the damn place. I mean, a bit round there. And a bit here because it's going to be sliding here and there. A bit there. And a bit on this slide here. Because that's going to be to get a bit more grease. We've not got enough grease there. There we go. That's it. And that goes. Let's turn it round this way. Let's reset our. There we go. that goes down into there actually it goes the first mistake was nearly made nearly put the push padding upside down So what I need to do is get this. Hang on. Oh no, what's the right way? Now the springs fell off, that's no problem. We can put that on in a minute. Uh, yeah, I'm sure I think it was the right way. See, that's why we have the manual, you see. No, that's not right, because that spring has to go, so it is that way. Yeah, it is that way. Because that goes through there, and that goes there, like that. Look how smooth that is now, that moves lovely. Not worry about the spring, we'll sort that out in a minute. Now, there's any clips that go on the bottom, and there is. Have a clip, a washer, and a clip. That's perfect. And I think these clips are all the same size. Let's get the pliers back out. Ain't it great watching me do this live? That way if it goes tits up, you can all say you've seen me do it live. And it went tits up. Put our spring back into here. Take that back out because I don't want to twist the spring. 
Right, the spring goes in. And I wanna I wanna just curl the end of that spring under actually. Because of that I don't want it to that'd be better. Right. moved out of position that's it right Let's put our spring I want to do it so that the top of the spring goes that way so the, the end of the spring yeah is that way so we're not so we're not twisting the spring and then this one and I think I might have to put something else in before that spring because that has to be pushed back so that has to be pushed back uh, is there a clip that goes on the bottom there? Let me just check. No, there isn't. Well, there is, but not just yet. Uh, yeah, we have a clip. Yeah. Goes on there. That goes there. Now, that'll hold the push pad in place now. And that's lovely and slidey now, which is what we want. Then, we have this. Now this slides in. slides in and that should slip in goes there no it doesn't uh, see what I mean you sometimes You don't put a load on, you just put on what's needed. There we go. Put a bit around that. There we go. There we go, you see? for there that's if even it had one which I don't think it did let's just make sure that's clipped in I think it is but yeah So let's turn that. Right, are we correct? That's supposed to go there. Just 
it's not right that, so what have I got not right? Yeah, there we go. Told you folks. <laughs> There's always something. And that has to go. Let's have a look at it. Let's move that out of the way. That goes back there. Yeah. That spring's fell out again. But that spring definitely goes. Ah. Put that there a minute. Ah, I think. Said it was. There we go. Can I get? Can I do it by just getting this out without having to piss about? No, I've got to take the push pad back out. So, yeah, what I've done, I've just not got it where I need to lift that out. Because that goes, it's right there. It's the goals at the back there. And it's it goes in there. That's the way it goes. You know, none of us are perfect, and I'm still working at it. Right, that's there, because that spring has to come. See, I'll put a bit of grease on these when I'm ready to. Uh, there we are. So now, just give me hands a quick wipe. Feed the spring back in. And then just, there we go. See? That's how it works. See? Now, if I put my gear back on, and this has to go anti clockwise. And now it'll make a full cycle. And that's the stop. Phew. Right. And I think before we put the thing on, we'll make sure we get everything right. Do, 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 do. And that pushes. I've not got that in the wrong position because that is the wrong way around. Just lift that out again. 
this is right but it's this one here I need to look at because that is supposed to come round and how have I got that round there because that is supposed to go under there uh, so if I Oh, there you go. That's it. Uh, take that gear off a bit. Get that past there. If I can, I'm going to have to undo that and just slacken that off again. Oh, slacken that off a bit. It's tempting to bend it, but you don't. Slacking it off a bit to just get that pass there. And that's how you get that pass there. Then all you do is just get the screwdriver back onto that. Just tighten that back in. See, and that's how it works. Now, so what we'll do now we know the velocity trip is correct, we can tighten, we can get the pliers on there and we can tighten that. I've got my other pliers, my green ones have dropped down there and I can't really see them. I'll find them when I sort the floor out down there tomorrow. There we go. We'll give everything a good tighten before we all go back together. Now if I push that, there we go, that resets. And that, see that's supposed to stay there. And it's held by the pressure of the arm and also by the uh, thing that's how it works it's simple very simple design now what we'll do somebody coming up my path And that just slips into there like so. You don't put any grease on that at all. Because it's not meant to be. Put the clip on. That's the wrong clip. That's the bigger clip and that goes on a bit later. There we are. We've got two of those spacers left, and hang on. Put me. Do you know it comes off easy that when you don't want it off, doesn't it? There we go, just hook it back in. Get here. Get in. There we go. Let's put the, the other clip. Uh, this didn't have a washer because if it did, 
there's not enough room for it so that was just a clip all right we've got two of those spacers left and now we should we should be able to turn this upside down without it all falling to bits right yeah, I think one of them went down there and that operates the and that goes through there no we don't have a clip we don't have one of them washers on there not enough room for the clip went now because yeah we have we have goals there like that and this lift this up because that has to tuck under there we are and then just give that a jiggle There we are, and that's how that works. Because that works like that. And that. When we get back into position, there we go. That sits on that. And that is pulled by that. And it's released by that. it's lifted back on like that really really clever right then we had we're just looking we had a clip on there we've got another clip that goes on here There's somewhere else that goes there, isn't there? I think it is not that. This big clip. Oops. <coughs> Goes on to there. There we go. A small clip. And I've got a feeling that we have two of those under there. Because that is just not. That's just too baggy. I think we have two, we have, yeah, we have one there, one there, one there, because <laughs> yeah. it's just too baggy otherwise, one there, and that's how that works. Now, let's try this, make sure it cycles. Right, so that's that's in its neutral position. Now check. That's 
correct. Yeah, that brings it down back, brings it to 10 inch. That's rest. And I think for 12 inch. it and it will just move slightly forward and if I simulate resetting the control arm bring that forward there and it should turn the mechanism off there we are And the arm won't move. That's it. How about that? Now I want to make sure that that's yeah that's right. That should be held in place now by the arm. So that shouldn't be able to be moved. When the arms are at rest, that shouldn't move. The arms at rest there. And let's just take this clip back off here. Because I don't know where, oh no, I don't need to, it's correct. No, I don't need to, it's right, because that goes around there. This is the hard bit. This is the difficult bit. <laughs> this face is towards me, the table, the record table for the record pusher, sorry. Faces towards me. What we do, we push the pin down, we've got a little mark. There we go. Whoops. Now oh, this is where... <laughs> this is where it gets difficult. Because that has to slot in like that, but it also has it has to slot in. Like so. See, I took this apart so that we could see. The hole is a little bit bigger. The hole is a little bit bigger. See, and that pin goes through. Right through. To hold that together. Now, getting that in there. And keeping all that together is a bit of a pain in the backside, but it can be done. I mean, it has to be done. 
because if you don't do it, then it won't work. So we've got that there. That has to face that way. Now let's find the first hole. The first hole is easy to see. Right, there's the first hole. Now, that might be it. Does that pin push them? Does that move moving in out? Yeah, it does. <laughs> but we're not actually in the position. What I'll do, I'll hold that. come out of the groove. You bummer. Uh, we're in there now. Now we, we need to find the to find the first hole. There's the first hole. Put the pin in and then recommend that's, that's working so let's give that a, let's give that a jiggle I don't want to lose if you lose that pin you could be in serious trouble there we are that is the difficult but it's achievable Oh, what's just flew at me? Oh, it's that. That is difficult, but it's achievable. Tighten that up. Just check it works. Yep. Let's find our spring. Let's put our spring back into place just check our yeah, there's our record pusher that works just check it works it goes in and it comes back out and we'll go around one more revolution there we go and that's pushed down where we want it Right, that has to go that has to go there but that's going to keep moving off for now because that's going to keep moving off because we haven't got this on the control bar on the control arm so that's going to keep moving nothing can do about that for now and we have to put this spring back on don't forget this spring but before we do that, we'll put this little grub screw back in. Make sure we put the right way up. Otherwise, we won't get the belt tight in it. See, that other one holds the pin in position, but this one, that other one's on the end of the pin. This, this one that actually holds the spindle, this locks the spindle.
So if you were to, there we are. If you were to lose that top one, then you're relying on the, the spindle one all on, and you can't. Now we've got this, and I can't quite remember, so I'm going to have to have a look. I can't quite remember. Right. This is only the anti scare, the bias. I can't quite remember which way it went on. Oh yeah, I can. Because that goes... It goes in there. through that loop at the back there we are and that's where that goes right and that drops in there thrust bearing and thrust washers there we go that all goes there like that and we've got a clip spare <laughs> we end up with a clip spare let's see where we've not got a clip uh, we've got a clip spare Oh, I know where it's off. It's, it goes on there, doesn't it? Yeah, so we haven't got it spare. It goes. It hooks the mechanism up to the... for switching it on and off there. It goes to that. Anyway, let's come over to the chat. And... I hope that's been pretty informative for you. We'll come over and have a quick chat with you. Because I could do with five minutes. I just wipe my hands because I feel like I've just eaten a fish supper. My hands are all greasy. I feel like I've just had a fish supper without the enjoyment. Mind you, these days, you've seen the price of a fish supper. Benji's already a radio engineer. chat let's have a look Bretsky who's Bretsky hello Bretsky uh, I've seen the name before but can't quite remember yeah, I hope you're all enjoying it anyway dump an old Phillips laser disc oh, oh you need to dump an old Phillips laser disc recorder you have right Uh, there's got to be somebody that wants it, uh, Mike. I had a Pioneer one years ago, Pioneer laser disc player. It used to play uh, laser discs. Uh, it played laser discs. It played ordinary CDs as well. Put it on eBay and sold it. Twenty-five quid. I'm sorry. Should have kept it. Yeah, I've, uh, I've got a Sanyo Beta Max. I've got I've got a nice uh, top load of Sanyo Beta Max in the bedroom, and it's got no picture. It's got a signal out to the tuner, 
Uh, but there's no when you press the play button, you just get a black screen. I think there's a problem with the video amplifier, but I don't know exactly. Yeah, I remember V2000. I remember all the formats, I mean. I mean, why wouldn't I? I'm an old man now. It feels like an old man when you're talking about beta and video 2000. Someone's saying, which one was that, Andy? Oh, Benji's asking, which one was that? By Bretsky, or is it Mike who's going? I don't know. Oh, you got to go. Uh, yeah, good night, uh, Mike. It was nice to have you on board. It's always a pleasure, my friend. Uh, say hello to the missus for me, and uh, uh, I'll catch you next time you're floating around, Mike. You have a good evening, and uh, I'm just trying to work out which one, which one was that, Andy? Which one was what, uh, Benji? Uh, because I've got lost somewhere. You wish your memories. Hello Chris, didn't see you there mate. How are you doing? Yeah, I enjoyed your video. Uh, I, enjoy, I enjoyed your video Chris about the uh, the uh, digital uh, voltmeter. Well, it was very uh, good, yeah. Very well explained as well. Yeah, I'm looking forward to part two. I'm just looking to see if we can see where you came in. Because uh, as you know, I, oh, there we are. Uh, uh, it doesn't look very simple to you, Chris. What doesn't is to, you know, because I've, I've not kept up on the chat. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to Trying to go back, try and catch up on a few things, see if I can meadow, make head or tail of the chat, really. Uh... <laughs> Chris is saying, watching this reminds you why you don't mess with, why you don't mess with record players. You don't touch record players. Oh, they're simple, Chris. I mean, they are, mate, honestly. They, I mean, BSR made them so that they could be serviced. You know, I'm um, just... Yeah. yeah, I'm not a lover of spring clips, especially when you get one that bounces all around the wall. Bounces all around the room and you hit it, you hit it, hit it off every wall. And uh, you can't find a damn thing. Uh, yeah, I like it. I don't like a bath, I like a shower. I like a shower, Chris. I like a shower, you can't beat a nice hot shower. Yeah, that's probably uh, right, Chris, on the crosshead screws. Yeah. I'll get back to that in a minute, put it back together, put the, the actual uh, mechanism back into the base plate. Could have been worse. 
Might have used a thong. Ooh. Ooh, sounds painful. Could be worse using someone else's pants. Yeah, I suppose there's that as well. Oh, you try to gather enough energy to uncalibrate that meat, I'm sure you'll do it. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. I'm way down here. I'm way, way, way down here on the chat. I'm not going to get through all this lot because if I do, I won't get anything else done. top of the chat now. Yeah, we're at the top now. I've had a quick glance at everything there. Right. Leave that chat where it's come back straight down to the bottom of that. And there we go. Let's get this back into the base plate. <coughs> and then we can fit the tone arm and see if it behaves itself this time if it doesn't then I've done the best I can but I don't see why it shouldn't so let's put our now when you're putting these back together I find it best to just What you have to do is you have to guide the, let me just bring that back there a bit and it might, might rest a bit better that way. No, it doesn't want to, does it? But what you do, you lift the lever for the, for the, for the BSR. Why have why, why, why I got a big red patch on me? Must be where I've been resting. But what you do, you, you, you flick that lever, all, that, that all the way up. And then you can feed, and you can feed that in. Whoa, there we go. Bring that down. Before I put the bottom screw in, I'll line up the top, the top screws. Would help if I put my freaking glasses on a bit, I'll see what I'm doing. There we go. There we go. Let's get them lined up. And we're already lubricated everywhere, so we don't have to worry too much. And putting this on and holding it with one hand is actually very, very difficult because it's putting a lot of strain on your on your arm. She did have two of those cut washers, but one, one or two of those shape proof washers, but one seems to have gone a wall. Could have even been missing to start with. Now, so what we'll do now, we'll bring the other one and we'll put that screw, put that bolt in there. Now what we'll do, we'll Oops. 
Yeah, cross heads were made for mass production, weren't they, really? Oh, where's that gone? There it is. That's why I don't like flathead screws because well, we're lined up there, so we should go in. That's why I don't like flatheads because they're a pain in the ass. There we go. Let's just give that a good swing because there we go. Right. clip on just rest it there while I get the pliers onto it there we go check that that works it does for a minute right right so so I need to hold that with one hand the pliers and hook the spring with the other hand. Ow! Oh, it's on anyway. You heard that, but it went on. There we go. Right, so what we'll do now, make sure that our bits don't fall off more than not. So what we can do next, see that's so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to yeah that works I'm not going to be able to test it till the turntable's on because it's actually I can put the turntable on now I can put the turntable on and test the mechanism Give this a bit of a wipe out. You want to get grease and crap on the idler. There we go. So what we'll do now, we'll and that go. Oops, that spring flew out. It's a good job. Good job, I know. Good job that landed. So what we'll do now, we'll see if it switches off. I think that's has that gone the wrong way around that? No, it can't be. Because there's knobs upside down, because it should be on that way. Yeah, I think I've put the right, so it's off that way. Yeah, I think I've put the I think the switch has got the wrong way around. So what I need is just pull that clip back off. It's working, but it's 
better if everything's the right way around, isn't it? So we'll just lift this off, turn that full 360. It still puts it there. Right now that should be on. That's correct. No. Let's do this. On. Let's try it there. Off. Reject. On. That's it. <laughs> we had it in the wrong position. But we're right. We get there. There we are. Now, that's. Now let's try this and make sure it all works. I won't try it on the power just yet. That's off. It's on and reject. It should turn off. Yeah. And it did turn off. Can you actually see the knob? There we are. And it should just. There you are. Turns off. Now. Let's put our spring back in. Bit of a spring in our step. There we go. Now, this is the only part of these I don't like. It's putting the freaking arms back on because of the pain. Feed the wires down there, they'll come out at the bottom somewhere. Hang on. Uh, there we go. Feed the wire down there. It will come out through the bottom. There we go. And that goes there. Put our spacer in between, which is just a washer, really. Put spring in which goes there let me just uh, get here you <laughs> nice lovely there it is it's dropped down here get here you come here I want to get the arm, the wire down anyway. The tall nine wires have come through. Where I where take that space off so we don't lose it. Put that there a minute. Let's just hold all that together. While I find out where me. Careful, don't catch any of the mechanism, springs and stuff. Well, there's the wire. Can I just catch it with the pliers? So it comes there and it just, whoops, that'll do. That'll do. Right, this is one of the jobs I don't like doing on these. 
putting the damn arms back on because of the pain. This is not suit this this one's not as bad as some of them. And that goes under there. It goes down. That goes there. Then the spring goes under there. Like so. Goes. Uh, spring goes This is the only problem I hate, the only thing I don't like about doing these is putting the bloody arm back on because what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that like that and I'm going to put the I'm going to jiggle everything about there we go, get a couple of turns on that Basically, there we are now, and then bring this round to there. And then just Push it down into place, really. So let's take that back out of there a minute. Oops. Put that back out of place there. Let's push that. That needs to go under. Let's took a bit, scrape that a bit. I don't like doing shit like that. And then this comes through that little gap. And down into there Whew. and then just tighten the, the arm down you don't really have to use tools to do this it's designed to be hand tight now Turns off. That's ten. How come that's not coming back up? That's not releasing that, so we're caught down there somewhere. So let's have a look at that. released it that time ah there we are but it hasn't released it back up so let's, let's have a look at down here So this is the, don't worry about that, so let's have a look at Oh hang on I think, oh hang on I think I know how it's done there. Lift that up Simulate that the record is on. There we 
we go. Now it should pop up. And it didn't. So. Why did I not pop up? I'm not pop, pop it up. Well, that wires need to go through the other way. They come through that side. There we go. I don't think they're causing it though. No, it's sticking somewhere. That's it, it was just a bit bent over from when I twisted it when, because you can't get that in there, there, now you can, that's better, right, now let's see if that pops up now, that should now flick up. Try this thing. Well, at least the tone arm. Right, so now that's still down there. So there. Now, so let's simulate it. Uh, reject. An inch and it's gone over to seven. Uh, there we are. I was a bit over anxious. Pops up. 12, yeah, records finished, that pops up, mechanism switches off, done. Now all I need to do is find the turntable clip and stick that back on because there's no need to go under there because everything's done. It's all repaired and there we go. There we are. I can actually Well, giving it a bit of a wallop like that doesn't probably help it, but it's better than what it was. Yep. Yeah. yeah, because when that's when this is up, that is supposed to stay. Because the pressure of the toner arm is supposed to keep it keep it on so that it can't fall down. See, because that's that bit there moves toward hang on. That bit 
there moves out when you and then moves back over onto there when you put the control arm back down why is there a piece of solder on there somebody's repaired this yeah I've even that was there's a piece of solder there's a blob of solder on there there is there's a blob of solder shouldn't have a blob of solder on that Yeah. Either that or somebody's repaired it in the past. Someone's probably repaired that. What does that bit actually do? Oh, that's what it does. No, it doesn't. It doesn't really do anything. It's there for a reason. Right. The, uh, but anyway, uh, that, when you lift the control arm up, and move the control arm, see how, see how you lift that up and it moves off that. And basically, basically that is supposed to stay there under pressure until the top of the push pad moves it otherwise it will just push the arm straight to the middle so if I press that down with the screwdriver it should relocate it let me put the mechanism back in its rest mode and that's how that's supposed to be And you can actually work on that without stripping it down, which is nice, but that's how it works, that's how it's supposed to work. That's how it does it. And then we and then that is off. That's on, that's off. And there we go. It's as simple as that, folks. The B the BSR uh, the BSR Monarch uh, UA6, I think it is. Probably UA6 or UA7. It's the one before the UA8. But these were badged as uh, pie. These white ones and the brown ones has a slightly different arm on them, and they were badged as Monarchs. They were original. You know, well, well, this is badged as monarchs, as a monarch, but some of them had pie badges on them. Anyway, let's see what we've got. Yeah, that's all sorted now. I'm happy with that. I'm not going to put it back together tonight, I'll put it back together uh, tomorrow because I'm going to watch a few other people's videos now and see what other people have got that I haven't seen. Uh, so you, told, you all take it easy. Hello to Dal. Oh the radio, yeah the radio thing, the yeah, the other day when I did the uh, the rate when I did the radio on uh, the the 1932 radio uh, playing uh, Neville Chamberlain's uh, Declarate Britain, now uh, playing uh, Neville Chamberlain's Britain Declaration Declaration of War on Germany. Yeah, well, uh, there we go. You see, I'm glad everybody enjoyed it. Right, good good night to everybody. Uh, glad to see you, good Chris. Uh, um, uh, good to see you. Nice to see you. Good as well, Phil. Um, anyway, I'm gonna leave it there. 
Uh, that's the BSR Monarch from 1955 or 56. Uh, you all take it easy and join me for the next one. Bye for now folks.